hey guys thank you for coming back to my channel i really appreciate it guys i know i supposed to been filming the whole thing for you guys but to cut down on my time since i have to hold my phone in my hands i decided to um go ahead and prep a little bit and i'm just coming to show you what i did already basically what i did i already did my onions and peppers and these are about to get ready and come out I put a little bit of tiny oil in here. You don't need much, but you can use, um, if you want, you can use olive oil, any type of olive oil or whatever you choose to use. I usually do the onions and the um, peppers separate, but tonight I went ahead and just put them all together. So that's that right there. And over here, I already rinsed off my, uh, well, I had my steak. These are thin cut steaks. I had them soaking in um, vinegar and salt for about 20 minutes. And I just took them out, rinsed them out real, rinsed them real good and put them in a plate because I'm about to get ready and cut them and put them in this bowl and season, season them up and cook them. So let me show you the, um rice the rice is done I use um, Carolina's rice that's one of my favorite childhood rice so yeah I use the Carolina's rice that's what we're using but well, that's what we're eating tonight it's draining off some water that comes off this lid so yeah guys I don't mind doing the cooking videos for you all but it's kind of difficult to hold my phone in my hands and trying to cook because um, I don't have my tripod. Like I told a few of you guys earlier in the week, I know you guys want me to do more cooking videos to show you some dishes that I do for my family. And that's fine. I don't have no problems with that. But I don't like to have things in my hands. I like to cook with my hands freely and so I can basically maneuver in the kitchen and I can be doing multiple things while stuff is cooking on the stove I can be washing dishes I can be cleaning something down I can be prepping for something else and I don't want to mess around and have my phone fall drop or get busted because that's what I'm doing I'm using my phone I don't have a camera yet hopefully in the future I will have a camera but for now I'm waiting on my tripod to come that um you know for those of you who do not know so so my phone can set in there and I can be able to control it like you know so you guys can see real good what I'm doing and what I'm cooking because this is not it to have it in your hands so just so you guys know and I hope you understand but um this is these are the seasonings I'm about to get ready and take the onions out so this is my bowl right here that I'm using but um these are the seasonings that I'm using for the steaks and I'm gonna get ready and take those peppers out because to me, they look good enough. Yep, looks delicious. So hope you guys understand that more videos will be coming soon when I get my tripod. And guys, you can season these up with whatever you want to season them up with. I usually just put pepper and garlic um, powder on mines, but you have to be careful because if you're seasoning your meat, you don't really have to put a lot of seasoning or no seasonings on the um, onions and peppers. You have to be very careful because most of the seasoning would be on the meat. So yeah, you got to be careful with that. That's just like my, um, I used to use the bouillon cube for my rice guys, but I didn't put any in there because we're going to top this off with the gravy. So we're not going to, the gravy is already seasoned and the meat is already seasoned. So we're not going to over season over here because that's a little bit too much in my opinion. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn you guys around and watch me cut this up so I can go ahead and um so I can go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you guys real quick so you guys can see 
hopefully what I'm doing. So like I said, I'm just gonna cut this up and I'm gonna season it. I put it in the bowl and I'm gonna season it. My hands already was clean. And guys, cut this however way you want to cut yours. Some people do the long way, some people do the short way. I may do some long, some short. Um, cut them however you want to cut them up. It's your house, your family, your cooking. Don't let anyone tell you how to cook. This is just the way I do it. I need another knife, but I have been doing fine with what I have, and that's, you know, but I know I'm going to get another knife. I should have had got my cutting board because I do have a cutting board. I have three came in a pack, actually. I had them ever since last. Well, actually, I had them ever since the year before last. I just never used them. But yeah, I have a cutting, I have three cutting boards, small, medium, large. But these are the microwavable plates I got from um, Dollar Tree. I bought them especially for my son so he wouldn't be microwaving and heating up food and microwaving food in my um, good dishes, you know. It, mess, it messes it up once you put it in the, in the microwave, guys. So that's why I got these microwavable ones for him yeah guys it's nothing fancy just something that me and my son like to eat sometimes the pepper onions steak and rice it's really good and you guys you know what else you can do with this you can also we love it on the burritos like we get the um i don't know if you guys seen it in a couple of my hauls but i get that low carb I think it's called the low carb little wraps you can make a breakfast or a dinner wrap it's so good we we just do the same thing we just do instead of putting it in a bowl we'll just put it in a wrap he loves it when I make it I posted I made this a couple of weeks ago but I didn't have any peppers guys but when I find constantly find peppers on sale what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring mine home and just cut it up like I showed you guys um, in a previous video I'm just gonna cut it up because some of the pre-made um, some of those pre-made um, peppers and onions that's already cut up it's very pricey guys if I catch it on sale I would get it but I would rather just catch the regular onion and peppers on sale and I can just bring it home and cut it up myself it takes no time and just freeze it because the ones that's already because I know um I'm pretty sure everybody's selling but I know I've seen a big bag well medium-sized nice bag it's like individual bags come in one big bag individual bags and I think it was like six individual bags four or six individual bags it could have been four at BJ's and they already had the peppers onions and everything it's pricey though so I'm just cutting them up guys I'm going to get ready and season them. And I'm going to get ready and um, season them and put them in the... Put them in the skillet. Put whatever seasoning you guys like, you and your family like, guys. It's even good when I, I, ha I have used... Um, the same seasonings that I just showed you guys, I use those seasonings, but you have to be very lightweight. Can't be heavy. You have to watch what you're doing. Measure it out. I, I was when I learned how to cook in the kitchen at eight years old, eight nine years old, with my mom and my grandmother. They didn't use a lot of measuring stuff, so we had to eyeball it. It's called eyeballing it, or just until you feel like it's right. But yeah, be careful with the seasonings. But yeah, you can also use the um. I'm trying to figure out the name because I really like it on I really like it on the um chicken and pork chops. I think it's called um I can't think of it right now, guys. When I think about it, I'll let you guys know. But it goes really good for with those seasonings that I just showed you. So Sazon. I think I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, forgive me, but Sazon. Sazon. Now that's a really good seasoning on all meat. I have even put it on my um 
T-bone steak before and I put it on all my chicken meals just about and I put it on some pork chops one day and oh my god my son and my mom and my nephew and them they went crazy like it, it just takes it's a, it's a really good seasoning I like it I just discovered it about three years ago and I've been using it ever since guys but for some reason um I can't feel, find the real big ones in my um Sam's Club for some reason for the last two years I can't find it I get it from the regular store I get the biggest box of regular my regular local store have just gotta get a this knife is good but I just gotta get another one that makes it glide right through try not to have a whole lot of utensils because it's two of us sometimes three so and then you know family and friends come over but mostly lately last couple of years just family but okay try not to have a whole lot of utensils and different stuff because I don't need it you guys hear a loud noise in the back it's a whole lot of motorcycles just came down came down the street or something and I'm running water too guys I always like to keep my area clean and I always make bleach water y'all don't know what that is some of you all it's just warm water deterred dish detergent and pour you some bleach in there I usually use the bleach the cup the the little capsule that the that's on the bleach I used to put two cups in there you can do it like that guys so okay I'm showing you guys this is the meat and let me get my seasonings over here. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys appreciate this. I don't mind doing it for you guys, but guys, you don't understand editing. And especially if you're trying to hold the camera or pop it up against something, it's not easy if you don't have a camera or a tripod. So, okay, I'm going in with the, um, I don't know, for some reason, I don't like to go in with the pepper first. You can go in any order you want to. You want it to be flavorful, but you don't want to be too crazy with it, you know? So this is the um, granulated onion that I just used. You want to be generous. You want the flavor, but you don't want to be too crazy with the flavor, guys. You got to know what you're doing and pay attention when you're in the kitchen. For those of you who's not really familiar with the kitchen and don't cook that much. This is one of our favorites. I grew up off of this. Some people don't like it. But guys, you got to know what you're doing when you're using this. That's all I can say. You got to know what you're doing when you're using it. I don't usually use a lot when I use it. But we was raised off of that Lowry seasoning. This is the pepper. Pepper is good for you guys. Just in case if you didn't know the, anti the antioxidant. Love me some pepper. It's okay, guys. That's um, I'm trying to see. That's all I'm gonna use, but I have a small pack over here. That's my onions. So I'm gonna wrap it up in a minute, but yeah, I have a small pack of the sazon over here that I used the other day. I'm just gonna use this because I wasn't gonna use it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there. Well, it's just a little bit that was left that I'm just gonna put in there. Just gonna put it in here. I don't like anything to go to waste. It's just a little bit. It really gives you that good. It's a good flavor. I like it a lot. guys what I'm about to do now I'm about to use my Kerrygold butter 
I'm going to use the same skillet I just got the onions and peppers out of, guys. Okay, we got that together. So I'm just going to show you guys here. I got the seasonings in there. And I'm going to show you over here. I just put some curry gold butter in there. So what I'm going to do, I got to do one more thing. Give me a minute. You can drizzle, if you choose to, drizzle a little bit of olive oil or whatever type of oil you prefer. Just a little. I really like to get in there with my hands, but I'm going to mix it up, guys. I'm used to working with my hands, not my, not these right here. Not mixing up the meat like this. Because my hands is clean, you know, and it's my family. They don't mind, and I always make sure I'm constantly washing my hands when I'm cooking in the kitchen. I don't like nothing to be on my hands to feel sticky. I like for my hands to feel clean. So I'm constantly washing my hands. That's why I use my hands. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the tongs. So, okay, guys, we're going to get ready and we're going to get ready and put those in there. So, we're going to bring this over to the stove. Matter of fact, I want it to be right here where I can see it. Excuse my stove, guys. I haven't got to it yet because I'm waiting on my cleaner that I usually use. I got to get my stove in. My stove in my oven. My oven is not looking bad. But the top of the stove, I got to get all those in there. Got to give it a real deep clean, guys. Smells so good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brown this up real good, guys. And I'm gonna bring you guys back because I like mine to be browned up real good. And if you just heard anything pop on, that was my um central air. So I'll bring you back, guys, when this um, cook down. Okay, give me a minute. Hey, guys, I'm back. Guys, when I tell you it smells so good in here, it smells so good in here. I wish you guys can smell it. Guys, I plated it up for you guys so you can see. I plated it up two different ways. My son likes it this way. Peppers on the side and then the um, steak in the middle then um, the rice and guys I had the gravy left over from the Southberry steak dinner 
So what I did, I just end up heating up some and drizzling it over there because we did not want this to go to waste. And guys, it still turned out great because I didn't have to make no um, fresh gravy. But if you want to make fresh gravy, but we, like I said, I cooked Salisbury steak um, the day before and we had some leftover gravy. And hey, I like to utilize everything that we have. Don't like to be wasteful. So guys, look how good that looked. This is just my rice bowl. I'm not a chef. I've just been cooking in the kitchen with my mom and my grandmother since I was eight years old. If this is nothing fancy. You can do it at home. I like my rice at the bottom, steak, and then the peppers, and drizzle a little bit of um, gravy over it. And like I said, my son likes it this way. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try to do better next time when I get my tripod and hopefully in the future soon my camera but guys this looks so good and it smells so good we're gonna get ready and eat and I will talk to you guys in the next video I think the next video is either a grocery haul or sounds club but either either way you guys gonna get both of them sounds club and a grocery haul so guys um well I'm gonna say a little prayer that we always say that I always say real quick before I go. Father God, thank you for this food. Bless this food in our stomachs. Thank you, God, for giving me the strength to cook the food. Thank you for giving me a stove to cook it on. Thank you for um, me. Thank you for giving me the funds to um, buy the food. Thank you for giving me a ride to get to the store to get the food and a home to, to prepare it in. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, thank you and amen. Okay, guys, we're going to eat before it get cold. Talk to you later. Bye.